how is this possible? My confused is very coming tomorrow. I was in panic, like Charakadzi. And welcome to another video with Lumpies. Should I induce, overdo, or should I still wait patiently? What is it? And for those who have been watching this channel for a while, I think you probably have seen how confused I was. Initially, I've also made videos before where I thought already like, okay, it's nine months. We have been through the nine months. I'm ready to deliver the baby. And I started recalculating later on again and looking at the due date that I got from the doctor that, okay, good. Something is not going well like things when us you were just not like um coming together as a thought because the app that i was using was already telling me i'm nine months pregnant and i knew i was already in my 10th month of pregnancy and coming to an end of the 10th month and some people have also already started asking questions on their call in the comment section like is pregnancy 10 months or oh, you do you need to induce has come up in my mind too, but I was trying to keep calm and I started researching. So when I did my research briefly on Google, I've also seen already a couple of videos on YouTube, but briefly on YouTube, on, on Google, it's, uh, it says pregnancy lasts for about 280 days. This is a total of 40 weeks. But this is always calculated as nine months. I'm pregnant for the first time and I was always calculating nine months until I was at the end of the nine months and I discovered that, okay, we're way over nine months. Should I be in panic? And no, it's 40 weeks. If you actually divide 40 weeks, um, with four, you're going to see that this is a total of 10 months. So it's nine months up to the 36th week. And up until the 36th week is a premature baby, up until the end of the ninth month. And from the 36th to the 40th week, which is now usually how the doctors calculate your due date is to the end of the 40th week, is a 10th month. I, I, I honestly, I'm like 34 years old and I have never heard anybody say, no, I'm pregnant for 10 months. Everybody only say no. It's nine months. I've been carrying the baby for nine months. I am. Nobody ever sees ten months. I don't know why. I discovered pretty much towards the end of my late trimester, like uh, end of the third trimester, I was like, I'm, I'm, this is over nine months. And why is my due date still two weeks away from now? Like, I, I felt like I was already two weeks overdue. I needed to go to the hospital and induce or talk to the doctor and see what we can do. But no. 40 weeks, which is 10 months. Uh, it is strange. Why do they say nine months when it's 40, <laughs> when it's 40 weeks? Ah, okay, this is the thing. So between the 36th week and the 40th week, that's when the doctor starts saying like, at the end of the ninth month, that means Baby has fully developed and is ready to be delivered any day. And that's when they start saying, from now onward, wait for labor and delivery signs any, or birth signs any time. So the, it's also the time when they start saying, if you are doing any, I don't know, cervix ripening tricks whatsoever or remedies, start after your 36th week because the baby has fully developed and you have no more the risk of um, giving birth to a premature baby. And these four weeks, I 
think I just meant to be the waiting period. That's why we when they are, why they are not counted as uh, as as part of the pregnancy journey because it's just the waiting period. And what else is written here? And also because only about apparently only about four percent of the women. Only about 4% of pregnant women deliver baby right at 40 weeks. So most people do not reach 40 weeks, although it's always estimated to 40 weeks. They do not reach 40 weeks. So this is why it's not counted. But be aware that when you are getting your due date calculated at your doctor's visit, it's calculated to 40 weeks or 280 days. And this, if you just divide by four, you're going to end up, or well, you're going to see that this is a total of 10 months. Any baby that is born actually after the 40, after the 36 week should be a normal developed baby. So no fear if you, you know, if your baby happened to come at 36, like immediately 30, maybe after 36 and zero, 36 and three days or so, it's okay, it's normal. And if your baby happened to come, 38th, 39th is also okay, or a week after 40. The 40th week, it is okay. I think usually after the 40th week, they give you about two weeks. And this is like a buffer, and after that, you definitely have to start thinking about induction. But until the 40th week, in the 42nd week, it is okay, unless if there are some medical complications. So, I am 10th month. And I'm still keeping calm and hoping that in a week or two we are going to have a baby. And that is no panic. I'm not yet overdue just because I'm in the 10th month of pregnancy. It's normal. If, if you're calculating months, and for me I was always calculating months easy for me that way. Then when I was calculating weeks, weeks were a bit messy because I have like... I have an application, then I have like uh, two different books, and I saw that each of the books, especially when it comes to the end of the second trimester to the beginning of the third trimester, they have indicated the two trimesters starting at different weeks. It was kind of a little bit confused. One book was like, you're still in the second. The other one was like, you are already in the third. And some books have like a longer third trimester, just because then, depending on how, if they count this 40th week, or some count rather a longer second trimester and then they only count the very last few weeks in the third trimester. But I saw the differences in the books and that's when I started really looking into where am I at and how long am I overdue or what is happening here. Yeah, so it is normal. It's not something to be panicking about. And I'm trying not to be panicking. That, is, that fear is a sign when I found it online because I honestly had to search this online. I was confused a bit, especially, especially the moment I knew I was a week after the ninth month. I was like panicking, like, how is this possible? My confused is baby coming tomorrow. I was in panic, like, yeah. So pretty much that was it. A very short video, hoping that. Once the baby is here, I'm going to do a little bit more better in 40 video about parenthood. And yeah, hoping that I'm going to have time to still do YouTube video. I don't know what I'm expecting, but I'm just, I'm, op I'm positive, open-minded, and let's see how it's going to go. If there's time, yeah, if there's no time, then I'll let you know and slow down a bit when needed. If you enjoy this kind of video for me, guys, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. It's all about my lifestyle. Back in the day, it used to be a lot of traveling. Now it's mainly just staying at home and motherhood and motherhood in the making. See you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.